In this video we're going to take a look at inheritance and the three types of directives. So basically as we touched on before, Nginx generally inherits straight down from the parent to the child context, starting at the HTTP context, then the server context and finally to any location context. That said, inheritance isn't always just this straightforward and will vary depending on the type of directive being inherited from. The three main directive types is the standard directive, the array directive and the action directive. We'll also look at the outlying try files directive, which works in a slightly unique way. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I've just got a basic configuration file here, which contains all of these different directive types. And first, we'll look at the standard directive, which we've seen a few times now. This gzip directive is an example of that. Basically, it can only be defined once within a context, and it gets inherited downwards. So everything in the context where it's defined, or any subcontexts, will now have gzip enabled. Unless, of course, it gets overwritten, as is the case here in our downloads location, where now this context and every subcontext of this, should there have been any, will have gzip disabled. The next directive type we'll look at is the array directive, which for the most part works exactly the same as the standard directive, but can be defined multiple times with different values. So in this case, we've got two access logs, one of which is just behaving in the default way, and the second logging to a different log file using that notice flag. Inheritance works exactly the same as the standard directive and is completely overwritten should it be defined in a subcontext. I say completely overwritten as all declarations of a parent directive will be overwritten by just a single declaration in a child context. Again, using this downloads location, this context will now only write the access logs to this new location defined here, and not to either of the locations defined in the parent context. The third kind of directive is what's called an action directive. And what this one does is basically perform an action when hit. So in the case of this rewrite directive in the slash home location, the request will be rewritten to slash index.php, and then, very importantly, in the case of the rewrite, will be re-evaluated as that new URI. Another example of an action directive is the return directive we used in some of the earlier videos, where the specified data is simply returned to the user with the specified response code. So in the case of these action directives, inheritance then doesn't actually come into play at all, as the flow of the request is immediately interrupted by some action. Finally, there's try files. This directive is kind of on its own and behaves in a unique way, but is also very commonly used and a very important directive to understand. Basically, let's say a request is received on the server and hits the slash downloads location. And we'll say that request was for the iceland.gif flag file. After running past these other directives, try files will give Nginx a series of things to try and do with the request in order of priority. In this case, it'll say first try looking for the resource as per the URI. And this is simply a variable available in the Nginx configuration, which just equates to the URI location, slash downloads, slash flags, slash Iceland.gif. There's a whole bunch of these variables available, and they're all listed at the URL below. Okay, so in this case of the Iceland flag, we know that that resource exists as we've used it in some of the previous examples which means that it will match a file system resource and be sent to the user. Should that file, however, not have existed, the next option would then be tried, which in this case is simply to return a 404 to the user. Of course, this isn't limited to only two options, but as many as you want to define. For instance, we could have said if this file isn't found before sending a 404, try serving index.html instead, and so on. And again, like the action directives, the try files directive does not get inherited as it invokes an action, which is then re-evaluated. That covers the main types of directives and pretty much the basics of serving static files. So in the next video, we'll start looking into interpreting dynamic languages such as PHP by configuring a backend.